Mr. Oishi Kengo, Governor of Nagasaki Prefecture. On the occasion of Nagasaki Peace Ceremony, I offer my heartfelt prayers to the victims of the atomic bombing together with the people of Nagasaki Prefecture. 77 years ago this day, a single atomic bomb that exploded over the city of Nagasaki deprived so many people of their precious lives and even those who narrowly survived were left with incurable scars on their body and mind and health problems. Through this hardship, Nagasaki has been reborn as a city abound with greenery thanks to the efforts and thoughts of its people. And because of the memory of the hardship that they endured, Nagasaki has become a city with a strong desire for peace amid growing concern over the possible use of nuclear weapons due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The first meeting of the Conference of the State Parties to the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons was held in June this year, and the NPT Review Conference was convened on the first of this month. Prime Minister Kishida became the first Japanese Prime Minister to attend the NPT Review Conference, and I was there to convey the strong desire of the people of Nagasaki to make Nagasaki the last A-bombed city. As the only country to have experienced nuclear war, Japan is in a position to appeal to the world for nuclear abolition. I strongly hope that the Japanese government will play a role as a bridge between countries with different positions and lead international discussions toward nuclear abolition more than ever before. In order to realize a world without nuclear weapons, it is necessary for all nations to share the belief that nuclear weapons must never be used and to engage in dialogue and action. I urge the leaders of each country to visit the A-bombed city, listen to the voices of A-bombed survivors, and learn the real aspects of the atomic bombings. This year, one of the Hibakusha organizations that had led the peace movement in Nagasaki was dissolved due to aging of the members and other reasons. We will succeed the will of the A-bomb survivors, strive to develop human resources to pass on the realities of the atomic bombings uh, to future generations, expand opportunities for peace education, and work with people of Nagasaki Prefecture to convey our desire for peace. In addition, Hibakusha certification for those who are exposed to the black rain in Hiroshima has been underway since April of this, this year. However, those in Nagasaki are not included. We ask the Japanese government to please open the way to provide relief to those in Nagasaki who were in similar circumstances. August 9th is an unforgettable day for people of Nagasaki Prefecture. It is a day of prayer and a day to pledge that we will not allow a nuclear devastation to occur for the third time. I hereby offer my words of prayers to the deceased victims of the atomic bombing following to make further efforts towards realizing a peaceful world free of nuclear weapons. Oishi Kengo, Governor of Nagasaki Prefecture, August 9th, 2022.
Telegrams and messages from various sources are posted on the board on the right side of the entrance to the ceremony venue. So we invite you to take a look at them.